Jeffrey Sieber. Well, hello! Good afternoon, everybody. Are you guys ready for another sneak peek of what we have in store for 24? Yeah. Have you guys been following along with the clues? Yeah. There are only 63 of them, so hopefully, hopefully by now you know what the heck is going on and what we have in store for 24. But on behalf of myself, Salim, our entire senior leadership team, and the more than 3,000 team members that make Six Flags Fiesta Texas a great place to work and play, we welcome you to the third annual FT92! As you know, this event is truly designed for you. Hopefully you've seen over the past several years the amount of love and attention that we've given our guests in the park. And as you know, I've been a fellow enthusiast myself since I was born, so it is so fun hearing your thoughts, your ideas, and really what you're about to see, as you know, comes from you guys. Many of you I talk with in the park, you come up, share ideas and perspective, and what you would like to see us do, and my job as the caretaker for Six Flags Fiesta Texas, is to basically build and create what you guys really want us to do. So today you're gonna see a sneak peek of really three big categories. Our exciting fall events, you're gonna learn more about Oktoberfest, Boo Fest, and of course the fan favorite, Fright Fest. You're gonna learn more and get an inside peek of what we have in store for Holiday in the Park. Who's a fan of Holiday in the Park? And of course, the big finale is seeing what the heck we are going to do for the 2024 season. So today, you're, gonna, you're the first to see any of this. You're gonna see concepts, concept art, projects in development, brand new shows that we haven't shared, plus with lots of other great stuff. So with that said, are you guys ready? Are you ready? Well, let's begin the show. As you know, for the past decade, we have been working feverishly around the clock to make Six Flags Fiesta Texas a park like no other. 10 years ago, it's hard to believe we introduced the epic Iron Rattler, the world's first of its kind hybrid coaster, the steepest first to go upside down, followed by Bahama Blaster, the steepest water slides on planet Earth as we did a water park expansion. 2015, Batman the Ride, the world's first of its kind 4D free spin coaster, a true innovation that was born here at Six Flags. In 2016, what did we do? We added three new rides in 2016. Continuing our thrills, then we added the largest rocket blast water coaster on planet Earth and the only one of its kind in the United States, lasting with 100 feet. In 2018, introduced another world's first right here at Six Flags Fiesta Texas with Wonder Woman, Golden Lasso Coaster. 2019, redid and renovated our dark ride with Pirates of the Deep Sea that's actually going through another renovation and enhancements as we speak. 2019, adding the world's largest pedal ride, the Joker Carnival of Chaos, a fantastic DC-inspired thrill attraction. 2020, Daredevil Dive Flying Machines, one of only two on planet Earth, and the largest of its kind. Great, great ride addition. In 2021, the reimagining of Poltergeist, our beloved launch coaster, new theme, new storyline, air conditioning, more effects, and of course, for our 30th anniversary, Dr. Diabolical's Cliffhanger, the world's steepest dive coaster. So it's hard to believe, in just the past 10 years, we've added 13 rides and four roller coasters. Talking about an amazing park achievement, and why do we do it? It's for you. Everything that we do is because of your love and support that you give us every single day. And as you know, this team works tirelessly around the clock to do just that for you. One of the other new innovations that we added this year was our E6 Gaming. Who's been across the street for E6? We actually have a competition going on today. There's another big competition that we'll talk about in a few moments actually going on next weekend with our partners at Coca-Cola. But this is also a world's first of its kind. 50 PCs for gaming, high-velocity gaming, along with a 5v5 competition stage. No other theme park on planet Earth has this type of experience when we open it up Memorial Day weekend. We have the lounge, we've got consoles, it's a great place if you just want to get some air conditioning to kick back and relax. It's got the great lounge space that you see, lots of just other great places to kick back and enjoy the spirit of gaming. So hopefully you've gone over there to see it, and more importantly, next weekend, we actually have a $30,000 prize pool out there for the Summer Showdown. So if you are a gamer and you would like to win some cash, 
Make sure that coming up, you scan this QR code. We've got a variety of celebrities that you saw are joining us. Meet and greets, Q&A, and a whole bunch of other fun opportunities. Tickets are on sale now, and that's actually next Saturday and Sunday of Labor Day weekend. So if you do not have your tickets, scan that right now and get your tickets. As you also know, our season passes are now on sale. So as we talk about all that's in store for 24, you do not want to miss this great sales opportunity that we have going on right now to buy those products. But that was just one innovation that we had throughout the year. There's so much more that you know that we've really done throughout this season, including our Coca-Cola VIP Lounge, which is across the street. How many of you enjoyed the new Coca-Cola VIP Lounge? Also a nice elevated experience, another great place to relax. Just chill for a while. We also have great fireworks viewing packages that we've done up there. As you know, you have your own menu. You can get an adult beverage and just beat the summer heat. I don't know if you've noticed, but it's been a little toasty this summer. And as you know, we are adding more air conditioning, more fans, more park amenities, trying to make sure that our guests stay nice and cool on these hot summer days because we know the best weather is coming ahead. Those are just some of the innovations. But if you look back at our entire 2023 timeline of improvements, it's extremely impressive what the park team is still able to deliver. We began with Mardi Gras, the Iron Rattler, we actually added a third train, so this way it can stay at two trains year-round. Roller Coaster Coffee, featuring Starbucks, open. Our all-new spring shows, which were an absolute blast, rolled out in the spring. We introduced Scream Break, a little bit of Halloween spectacular in the springtime. Tons of new furniture, lots of new landscaping. Viva La Fiesta, a great signature event with great food offerings, fireworks. We added our new VIP park entrance, so for our guests that can want to sneak in. And of course, our Hurricane Harbor San Antonio began its retheming and new storytelling as part of the season. But that just gets us to April. Look at all the things we've done just in the spring. It's hard to even remember all these things that we've done. Then we opened up Memorial Day weekend. We opened up our E6, followed by the Coca-Cola VIP Lounge which again is a great way to beat the heat. Then we launched Boomerang 2.0, a complete renovation of our classic Boomerang, including two trains, so this way we can have year-round operation. Iron Rattler got enhancements. We introduced the first drones ever in Six Flags. What do you guys think of our drone show? And again, it launches through Labor Day. Roller Coaster Rodeo, our signature pride celebration in the month of June. New Fat Burger, is everyone eating Fat Burger? Oh my gosh, make sure you head to the boardwalk to get Fat Burger. Our new Summer Vibes Festival presented by M&M's, which was a lot of fun. It just ended uh, two weeks ago. And then to continue throughout the year, even beyond June, believe it, wait, there's still more. Believe it or not, these things we've done together. We added the Great Flavors of the World Food Festival, which was brand new. Our Circuit Breaker Grand Prix Electric Go-Karts in the boardwalk is finishing up its enhancements and theming. Our 4th of July Fireworks 360 celebration. Hopefully you've all seen that by now. It is amazing. And right now as we speak, our Golden Lasso Coaster is going through a major renovation, and we just added and opened electric car chargers, which takes us to now. Holy moly! As you can see, there's no rest for the weary, and that just gets us to where we are today. Which, of course, it's now time to take a peek of what the heck the future is going to be. So are you guys ready for more? So that is what we have done, and now, let's take a look. It's landing! sneak peek of the statue that our design team here is working on locally that will be featured in the queue. When it comes to our water slides, you can see there's still some assemblies that were required on the water slide. So uh, with the construction that's going out there, that project is officially going to open in 2024. But as we talk through Kid Flash, which is opening this year, here's the first peek at some of the theming. This is the entrance portal that will actually greet you as you enter the ride. You saw the statue that will just be on the other side. Here is a glimpse of what the station will look like when you enter Kid Flash, the world's first single rail racing coaster of its kind. And of course the trains. The trains have the graphics. They're already on the tracks. 
as we speak. The medallions will be added. This is the first single rail coaster that actually seats two people next to each other. For those of you that love roller coasters, you know there's a, there was a concept out there called T-Rex that actually had seats next to each other. This is the first coaster in the world to actually offer that concept where guests actually sit next to each other versus just in line. And of course, we're the first park in the world to have multiple single rail coasters. And with the opening of Kid Flash here soon, we'll actually be the Kids Coaster capital of Texas with having more Kids Coasters than anyone else. But this gives you a little bit of an idea of the theming and storyline that is yet to come. The ride will open in October. So we will be sending out a variety of announcements. Those of you that have the special Kid Flash tickets will get your own preview event. And of course, we'll be offering previews for our Diamond membership, pass holders, as we get ready to open that ride. But we'll be sending out additional information. We are in the final phases of hooking while the electrical will begin testing soon. And again, with an opening this October. Who's excited for Kid Flash? Who knows first of its time? It is going to be great to see. All right. We're all going to love it. And yes, you do not have a child to rock. You do not have to have a kid. When it comes to Wonder Woman, how many fans of Wonder Woman? Oh my gosh. Well, as we know, the first of its kind was a prototype. There have been other generations that have opened, so we've gone back to the drawing board with Rocky Mountain construction to make improvements to our ride. We want it to be smoother, more exciting. So the first phase that we're in now is actually a maintenance phase. So this way there's new mechanics, new controls. The second phase, which is actually coming in 2024, is the one that you guys are gonna be excited about, which is the train redesign. The comfort collars are completely different, like the second generation, much more forgiving. If you've ridden, you've had some collarbones, no more. It will be a great ride. The seatbelt that is on there goes away. The second generation doesn't have a seatbelt. The trains can absorb more of the forces of the ride, so it's a smoother, more comfortable. You're seeing some, what's it like on the left, the new design on the right. It's easier for our team to maintain. We're able to service more in the den. I could go on and on and on with all the great improvements that's coming for Wonder Woman. The ride is actually getting ready to finish its phase one renovation here in the next two weeks. It should be open around the opening of Fright Fest. Bogies on the left, new bogies on the right, which are very exciting to offer a much smoother ride experience. And again, that is going to be part of phase two coming in 2024. So when we reopen in a few weeks, it's still with the trains that it currently has. The trains have been refurbished to, to look better, but the real guest improvement will actually come in 2024. So just be mindful of that, where we'll have the full moving station, increase capacity, be able to operate all three trains, and it's going to be a much better ride experience as we get ready for our 2024 season. So just another huge multi-million dollar improvement. Why? For you! Because you guys asked for it. We want to make sure that everyone still loves Wonder Woman. Hopefully you're excited about as much about this as we are. But as we know, there's still more yet to come. Oh, upcoming events. As you know, right now, today is the opening of Oktoberfest. It's the second annual event. It's bigger, more exciting, better food, more decor, great entertainment. So hopefully after this, you'll go see the cake tapping ceremony. Use your all-season dining to eat your way around the Oktoberfest. We also do have sampling packages, or you could buy the meals a la carte. Our beer tapping ceremony, the next one's at 3.30. It's a fun way. We've got our German band out there performing. And then the cakes officially get tapped at 3.30. Just a fun way to kick off the event. Like I was sharing, we have new decor that's out there. We've got costume characters. These big pretzels that you see were actually created by our in-house design team along with custom flags and pedantry. And a huge animatronic German guy. I mean, what says Oktoberfest more than a giant German guy with beer? But of course, the real part of Oktoberfest is the food. As you can see, the sampling of the different menus that are there, a great selection of German food and delicacies, along with desserts. But of course, more than 100 beers, including many beers on tap, and a great new retail experience. And also, you can buy a souvenir Oktoberfest mug, and that mug can be refilled uh, for a discounted price throughout the entire Oktoberfest run. So, Prosit, of course, what is up next? But Boo Fest. Our littlest event that we added last year, a fun, whimsical way of celebrating Halloween. For those that don't want to get overly scared, they just want to get a slight boo. Thank you, Samson. Of course, Boo Fest isn't complete without Looney Tunes, great shows, our House of Curiosities, all of our great kids' rides and attractions. And of course, this year, the House of Curiosities is returning, which is our great family-friendly walkthrough. 
and the Looney Tunes Halloween dance party. But there's an all brand new Spooky Town Looney Tunes Trick or Treat Trail. We're adding and expanding it in Rockville. Our design team to keep up with the 50s and 60s motif has been working to create art and designs that fit the theme of the area so you'll be able to trick or treat between the Looney Tunes homes and great photo opportunities for your family and friends to go through along with a huge giant new corn maze and also new entertainment wise we're adding the grave rave a great kids dance party that will occur nightly uh, for boo fest as well in our thrill seeker park so boo fest is going to be bigger more exciting than ever before october fest bigger more exciting than ever before so you can imagine what i'm about to say for fright fest fright fest is bigger more excited than ever before. So as you know, it is with great pleasure that I welcome to the stage the world-class Six Flags Fiesta Texas Entertainment Team. Fiesta Texas the best of Curse of the Zombie Prom. Six Flags Fiesta Texas, so of course there's lots of returning shows this year and some new shows. So returning, of course, is Zombie Prom that you just heard, which uh, premiered last year, and this will be the second season for Curse of the Zombie Prom, right here in the Zaragoza with a giant haunted house. The frightful finale! Who loves our fireworks show? This year, guess what? It will also feature our drones as part of the fireworks show. But let's look at the new shows. For Fright Fest, Motley Ghouls at Crack Axle Canyon, a new stage that is being built at Crack Axle. Another fun show that will perform several times nightly. Rock Apocalypse Revenge, the continuation of that in Lone Star Lil's Amphitheater. But of course, the big signature show, brand new for this year, 
Oh, it's before I get there, I guess. The arrival returns. The monsters ride the rails. So get ready for the arrival return in Crack Exit Canyon. But of course, the biggest show of them all when it comes to Fright Fest and what our guests love, the big finale of the night, Monster Mask Bash, the new Blood Man. It's going to be a brand new show, if you can imagine. Think of The Lost Boys, the musical. It's the way that I think. But it is a great new show, high energy, lots of fun sets and performances, and no doubt, hopefully you guys will love it as much as our entertainment team has been working on it. But there's also a much more sinister side to Fright Fest. We know that entertainment is just one portion of what makes the event great for all ages. But we've got some scare zones. And returning this year, Steam Pumpkins in Crack Axle Canyon. Wicked Hollow, the vampires return. Soul Harvest in Los Festivales. Infestation in Rockville. Hell Valley Cemetery, one of two extreme scare zones in the boardwalk. And Fear Acres, the terror continues in the water park. But of course, we always have to up the game every year and introduce a brand new scare zone. Carnival Terror, the entire boardwalk. So the whole boardwalk is being themed into its own scare zone this year, which of course always means that something else has to be in store. So that is the scare zones of what we have going on. Let's take a look at what else is going on for Fright Fest outside of the scare zones. Returning Haunted Houses, everyone's fan favorites. We've got, of course, what we introduced last year as a new haunt, Trapped returns in Spasburg with new animatronic. Buried Alive returns in Crack Axle Canyon, also with new effects, new animatronics. Slaughter South, Slaughterhouse 6, and of course, the House of Voodoo, Curse of the Rookeroo also returns with new effects, new actors, new storyline, and the big signature returning attraction, Rock Kill High School in our 1950s, Rockville High. But of course, it's not just about what's returning, it's about what's new. It's never good when it gets dark. A brand new haunt. Twisted Theater of Torment. I would like to introduce our newest celebrity of horror. Please welcome Mr. Tangled. Beware of where you sit as we lurk through the theater, looking for new souls to grab. As you know, there's always room for more. As Mr. Tangled wrinkles his horrible torment this Halloween season. I would not aggravate him or bother him in any way. He is not a friendly soul, but a brand new haunted house will open on the boardwalk with Fright Fest. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Mr. Tangle. Oh, dude, he's coming up here. I thought he was going to stay down there. Okay. Oh, here he comes. Hi, Mr. Tango. Oh, so good to see you too, Mr. Tango. Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Tango and the new Twister Haunted House. So no doubt, the biggest Fright Fest keeps getting bigger. It is open all the way through Halloween. Are you guys excited for this year's Fright Fest? And as we know, it opens in just a few weekends. It is the most wonderful time of the year. Well, speaking of that, as you know, we transition from that. We have our great Veterans Day event, but we do then also have, this year, a rarity during Fright Fest. A solar eclipse! 
The solar eclipse actually occurs on a Saturday during Fright Fest, so go to our website to look for the events listing. We will be launching fireworks before noon because it's going to be dark. So we're actually going to do a whole fun drone and fireworks show slightly before noon during the eclipse. We will have a variety of retail and merchandise and eclipse glasses you can actually buy to be a part of the festivities. So for more information on that event, as always, buy your season pass and then go to our website to check all the details for the upcoming solar eclipse this October. for the most magical and beloved time of the year, Holiday in the Park. As you know, it's with great decor and, oh, you think one time I would not be able to do it. Just one time. Merry Christmas. All you Japanese should be boiled in your own Christmas pudding. Maybe then you'll learn to save a pound. Well, it's always happy to hear your wonderful, happy spirit, Mr. Scrooge. I just called Mr. Cratchit, painting for the prophets, warming himself by a coal without permission. Ah, the rent is due, Mr. Cena. <sighs> you better have it ready when I return. Well, I, I guess I must uh, better make sure we're up on our payments. Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Scrooge! <laughs> ah, how about you, Mr. Scrooge? Well, as you know, the magic of all that we have in store for a holiday in the park with the majesty of Christmas, the lighting of the Christmas tree, but yet there's a brand new signature show. Ladies and gentlemen, Charles Dickens, A Christmas Carol, a spirited new musical. Our award-winning design and entertainment team has been working all summer long to create an original brand new musical experience that will be in the Rockville High beginning the weekend after Thanksgiving and run through Christmas. This brand new show will have elaborate sets produced by the same folks that created the Majesty of Christmas sets for us, SRO. This brand new musical extravaganza will be unlike anything that we've created in the past decade or longer. But what do you guys think of adding a brand new signature show to Hollywood Park? So we'll have the return of Majesty of Christmas, our tree lighting, all the decor, more food, more shows, more entertainment. You've heard the biggest Oktoberfest, the biggest Boo Fest, the biggest Fright Fest, and of course now the biggest, most magical holiday in the park in park history. And hopefully the weather will be in the 80s by then. <laughs> are you guys ready for holiday in the park? So are we. Uh-oh. What is this? Well, what a great way to finish the year but with our rockin' New Year's Eve celebration. Have you seen our big New Year's Eve show? Our fireworks. If you have not seen it, you absolutely have to come see. We only do the 360 show two times a year. One for 4th of July, and the other time, as you can see, is New Year's Eve. It is absolutely spectacular to watch fireworks launch from one of the 38 locations around the entire park, and you are standing in the middle with fireworks launching all around you. It really is a spectacle to be seen. So mark your calendars for New Year's Eve. The other cool thing we're doing New Year's Eve what do you think we should bring back? Any diamond pass holders out there? The diamond pass holders New Year's Eve party will also return this year. So make sure that you have your diamond pass ready. Buy a diamond pass now. It's again the cheapest price on sale and lots of great reasons to come visit between now and the end of the year. But looking at 24 as we change the calendar, our Mardi Gras event returns bigger and better. Spring break, Viva La Fiesta, all the great food. Our new summer night spectacular, summer vibes, roller coaster rodeo returns in June. Make sure you mark your calendars. Flavors of the world will be back bigger and better than ever. It'll also be in Crack Axle Canyon, 4th of July, Oktoberfest, Poo Fest, Fright Fest, and then into the year with Holiday in the Park. So a full lineup of 2024 festivals and events. But we talked briefly about this one. Yeah. Roller Coaster Rodeo! So mark your calendars, June 7th through the 9th. Hundreds of enthusiasts from around the world converge in the park. Great food, great dining, most importantly, great friends, and of course, the entire park exclusive ride time Saturday night, where every single ride is open exclusively before you. If you want to ride every single attraction in the park, you can absolutely do it, and it's a lot of fun. So mark your calendars for Roller Coaster Rodeo 2024, June 7th through the 9th. As you know, there's more in store for 24. 
as part of our re-theming and cleaning up the park into story-designated themed areas. The Bucking Broncos attraction was originally designed for our western area, and it is moving back to the western area. So construction is currently underway. Bucking Broncos will actually open in its new home uh, right before uh, October 1st. So it will be open again with the other two kids rides and attractions that are currently there, which is great. It is a western inspired attraction, so it will be moving from our current kids area. So you wanna know why? Ladies and gentlemen, Six Flags Fiesta Texas is proud to present Coming Attractions. Yet again, which is a fan favorite, whenever we ask our guests what rides and attractions they love, the DC Comics always rise to the top. So we are expanding DC Universe. It just got a whole lot bigger. So the rides and attractions in Kidsopolis are currently going through a refurbishment stage. You are seeing concepts that we are working on, that we're working with Warner Brothers and DC Comics, from Green Lantern to Batgirl, Coaster Chase, as we continue to work our way around the area, our area ride, Poison Ivy, Toxic Spin will be introduced in 2024. Penguin will make an introduction, take over our rambling road to make it a much more sinister Gotham City getaway. And our largest attraction in the area next to Superman will become Supergirl, Skyflight. Enhancing, so all of these attractions will be rethemed and enhanced as part of the expansion, as you know, here's a quick look at some of them, with the addition of our Cosmic Coaster, our kids area is right in the middle, all of that will now be included and exciting for 2024. Thank you guys so much. I hope you've enjoyed the presentation. But wait, what? Do you really think that's all we're gonna do for 24? No! We are going to build the largest collection of DC themed rides anywhere in the United States. Are you ready to see a peek of what we're actually adding? Ladies and gentlemen, we are proud to introduce an exciting lineup of signature new attractions for the 2024 season. First up, a new thrilling addition in DC Universe. New in 24 comes Cyborg Cyber Revolution! The only one of its kind in the entire state of Texas and the first to its time in all of Six Flags history. Are you ready to see what's up again? We just can't do one. We need to do more. Also introducing in 2024, taking our experience to new heights, and you've asked for a Shazam ride. Reaching 70 feet in the air, a new airtime bouncing machine will be introduced. The Shazam Tower of Eternity. But do you want more? Of course we do. Get ready to ride in style. High above DC Universe, in comfort on the new Metropolis Transit Authority, a monorail style ride that will take you on a panoramic view of the entire new DC Universe. Are you ready for three great new rides? Are you ready for the largest DC Universe in the United States? Yes, it is all coming this year in 2024. To give you a little bit more about the rides and attractions, first up that you saw is DC's Cyber Revolution. Anyone like airtime? Oh my gosh! This is a ride where it is an airtime machine. It actually lifts, rotates clockwise, counterclockwise, flies you over the top. A really fun, broad, thrilling experience. And we'll show you exactly where this attraction is going as part of the DC Universe experience. It is going next to Green Lantern, where our pirate ship attraction, as you know, is set sailing. So when you come to the area, Cyborg will be there, large and charged and dominant, and be a new, fun, airtime-filled machine that will really thrill and broad audience, a multi-generational experience. Second up, Shazam! Tower of Eternity! It is a 70-foot tall attraction, and you guys know who you are who have been asking for a Shazam ride. Got you covered. 70-foot tall experience, the entire tower rotates. 
It's a first of its kind for Six Flags. The whole tower rotates to give you a great view. The ride actually bounces up and down multiple times at different stages at different levels to give you a really fun, broad, thrilling experience that will entertain generations of new DC Universe fans. This attraction is going right next to Poison Ivy, which is our Samba Tower, and the new Penguin attraction. So Shazam will be tucked back into this corner, really creating a much more immersive and dynamic and action-packed experience. So there's rides and attractions for everyone to do together, regardless of age. And of course, there's the Metropolis Transit Authority. What do you guys think of this? A new Art Deco-inspired monorail-like ride. The cabins are all custom made, four per cabin. You actually sit facing each other. There are 16 riders per experience. You're elevated 20 feet above DC Universe. It's over a five minute ride as you go on this tour. But even what's more exciting, do you think we just ordered one train? No, there's two trains that will take you. So 32 passengers at a time. The Metropolis Station will actually be towards the back where the kid stage is. That's where you'll actually elevate 20 feet in the air, board your train before you begin a great panoramic aerial view of the brand new DC Universe. So hopefully you're as excited as we are as we continue to transform Six Flags Fiesta Texas into a fantastic destination park with lots of action-filled rides and attractions for the entire family. Great shows, great food, signature events, and of course now, the largest collection of DC themed rides anywhere in the United States. What do you guys think? You excited? Well, as always, on behalf of us at Six Flags Fiesta Texas, we are so excited to be completely creating a new, heavily themed, immersive experience that will transform a, a great section of the park. Our beloved Superman Kryptonite Coaster will also be getting thematic enhancements along with the entire area. New surfacing, new food, new shops, new dining. It will just look brand new as we get ready because we know there's more in store for 24. And we're excited to have the DC Universe expansion. With that said, enjoy the rest of your day at Six Flags and look forward to seeing you around the park. Have a great day, guys! Thank you for joining us for our F292 Fan Event. We're excited for the future and can't wait for you to join us in 2024. Enjoy the rest of your day.